Good morning. Our power's out. For maybe three hours. My work needs two screens. Now she only has one. And lots to do and maybe no way to charge my laptop. Unless she wants to drive to like a Starbucks. Which everyone else will be at. Oh, hi bud, bye bud. Yeah. Or a cat cafe. <laughs> Since we know there is one now. True. We'll see where this excitement leads us. Happy Monday. This is Katie's no, uh, no power workspace. She needs lots of space. So her kickstart is protected by princesses. And Elsa's making sure it stays nice and cold. Yeah, I just put him there. Also invisible in the morning. Hey guys, so power came back on, which is good, because I went into about two hours of back-to-back -back phone calls. Um, some expected, some not. But I escaped for a little bit. I'm actually going to go get my nails done because it's been a while it's been since i had those burger nails put on um so i'm very thrilled to uh, not well i don't have them on anymore but i'm excited to get a solid color back on and i don't know if this is tmi or gross but when i was walking around universal yesterday i can always tell when i need a pedicure because my nails will be like pushing into my shoes in a weird way. I don't know, it's, I don't know if that's gross. It's not gross, but it's definitely uncomfortable and I can always tell that's when I need my nails to be shaped and pretty again. So, I am on my way to my favorite technician and um, if you ever are in the area, she's in Windermere but it took me a while to find somebody and I just love going to her. I don't love going to those like mass salons because I like to have a personal relationship with the person that's gonna touch my nails. Um, I don't know, I did the same thing in Wisconsin. I did the same thing in Denver. Um, I just like going to the same person. So in Wisconsin, I actually went to a salon, but it was like the same four ladies. And I mean, I had been going there since like high school dances. So I felt like they were sort of family. So, but then in Denver, I've ever since then, I look for people that do it as a side. Well, not, somehow it's their real job, but like as a small business, because I feel like I'm helping somebody. And generally they have really good like customer relationships. So. That's my plug for small business nail techs. Um, but yeah, so I am just really looking forward to, while I'm looking forward to the actual service, I'm also looking forward to just um, being away from my house, being away from everything and chatting with somebody that um, I don't talk to every day, so. So this is downtown Windermere, super cute, and that's my building right here. This is what post-dinner naps looks like for Gizmo. Ignore my subway trash falling out of my garbage. Gizmo, are you asleep? She doesn't want to lay on the pillow, just next to the trash can with her tail on the pillow. How long are you? Look, dinner by candlelight. Just. Actually, it looks way brighter on video than it does in real life. 
tell me how you feel about kids in grocery stores right now. <laughs> I could feel the rage coming off of you. She ran in front of the cart, and the dad did just said, don't do that. For real. I feel like this is a dangerous game. Italian ice. Dog one. Dog ice cream. Italian <laughs> ice. Dog ice cream. Well, do you think that there's bacon, peanut butter, Italian ice you deserve? You may not be it. looking. Look, this one's yellow. This is yellow. 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 Dangerous game, Publix. So, uh, Katie's mom found these stuffed animal toys at somewhere. Costco, probably. Costco. Oh, she... And I <laughs> uh, thought the dogs needed them. So we just gave them to them. And as you can tell, Gadget's very excited. As is Gizmo. Gizmo just thrashes her around. And then she was on it. She thinks I'm trying to help her destroy the job. <laughs> okay, so we have this thing when it comes to ice cream, whether it's Katie size or Duncan sized. And Duncan said, Katie, how much ice cream you want? And I said, Duncan sized. And he's like, are you sure you should vlog this? So I am. We are getting ready to uh, watch The Bachelor. <laughs> you guys, this is, I mean, I asked for it, so it's my fault. But like, and I'll probably eat it, but look at this. That is stuck inside. It's like three times Katie says. What kind of ice cream did you get? Oreo. What kind do you have? I have creamsicle. Hopefully it's good because I just put like a third of the thing in there. Did so. you really? Yeah. Duncan. That's a Duncan size bowl. You know this. I warned you. <laughs> this is what it's like to have a dachshund. Gizmo is Gizmo. It's completely blindsided by that just means laying on the lies that Tisha made up. Gizmo! Now ready I am. Hi! He, now he has questions in our relationship. Hey Katie, what you doing? I'm um, waiting for H keywords. And regretting my decision. Why? Because this smells kind of gross. What is, what is it? It's a Diet Coke Strawberry Guava which appears to be a new flavor. Yeah, there were like a bunch of new flavors. Two. Three, right? No. Yeah, there were three, can't, there were three things. Yeah, but the other one was ginger lime. They always have that oh. one. Blueberry acai was the other one. Taste so, it. I get this because I love guava, but I'm not a fan of strawberry flavored things. Taste it. I'm scared. It's Stop so stalling. You might like this. It doesn't taste like Diet Coke at all. So like, I have their cherry one. They're like the, electric cherry or whatever. Yeah, that feisty. Feisty cherry. Feisty cherry. And that still tastes like cherry Coke. This tastes like... Like one of those Mountain Dew 
kickstarts that's like in the skinny can. Ooh, I like those. Yeah, I think you'll like it. It does not. Here, <coughs> switch. You give me this, you try it. Oh yeah, there's no way you would like this when smelling it. It smells like diet. There's like a diet undertone to it. <laughs> you can't smell that. You like it because it doesn't I taste don't. anything like Diet Coke. I mean, it does. Diet Can Diet Coke taste different than like Fountain Diet Coke? Can Diet Coke's not as like aggressive as Fountain Diet Coke. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not the worst thing I've ever drank. What's the worst thing you've ever drank? I don't know. Beverly? You've not tasted that. When have you tasted that? I feel like the last time we went to Club Cool, I tried it again. I mean, I wouldn't drink like... I wouldn't like sit here and drink like seven cans of it. It's really sugary, but I'd drink it. So if you had to pick a Diet Coke flavor to drink, is this what you would pick? Strawberry guava. And sweet. Gizmo. What kind would you drink? She's like, she, I don't know. Let me try them. She doesn't know. She's like, guys, I was watching The Bachelor. No, she's asleep. Gizmo's waiting for us to turn the TV back on, right? Okay, we'll do that. We took a break from watching The Bachelor, the Bachelor. to play HQ Trivia and HQ Words. Let's not talk about HQ Trivia. Because we want HQ Words! Woo woo! We made eight cents total! High five! That's it. We won HQ Words again. Back to The Bachelor! I'm in like uber stretch mode. Alright. There is one person going home. There are two people still on this. There are three people still on this date. And this episode we'll have to talk about so much more later when Duncan's not holding the phone so awkwardly. But as you can see, Gadget is all sorts of adorable on top of him. So, oh, she's on fire too. She's super Tell happy. me who's going home, Katie. I think Kerpa. I think it's Cassie. Mm -mm. I think it's Cassie. Let's see. Katie was right. I was wrong. But let's talk about what happened. We'll try to uh, make this quick. Spoiler free. Well, I mean, there's not really. It won't matter. Yeah, that's true. You're going to see this way after you see who wins, so you can laugh at our predictions, I guess. But anyway, so here's my issue. And I was getting all mad about this throughout the episode, and Duncan was, like, totally against me. But, like, since, if you watch, you've already seen it, so you know. Like, all this garbage about some girl saying people weren't ready, and then everybody believed them because one person said it. Like, I have such a problem with that. And that's not just a reality TV thing, that's a real life thing. I mean, Duncan, you just had it happen to you. You said something to somebody at work and it got totally twisted. I just don't understand why people do that. Like, do they think... And in some cases, no one's ever going to confront them about it, right? Because it's going to get all mixed up and somebody's going to be like, oh, this person hates me, I'm never going to say anything to them, blah, blah, blah. But what if they do get confronted? What do you... Like, what would happen if... Someone lied about somebody, that person confronted them, and then a third party got involved. Like, obviously one of you are wrong. It's just, it's ridiculous. I just, I hate when people make up stuff about people 
because they think they know something. It just drives me crazy. Like one time when I was a manager, I just remembered this story. Um, a girl didn't get a day off. And I don't remember the story around it exactly, but someone, t someone told her that I told her she had to leave her one-year-old's birthday party and come into work. And, like, all of a sudden, everyone was super angry on the shift. And someone was like, hey, did you really tell blah, blah, blah to leave her one-year-old's birthday? And I said, no, I didn't say that. Do you see her here? And we are like, well, no. And I was like, yeah, because I didn't say that. What? Like... She didn't come to work. I didn't make her come into work. Isn't that crazy? But that's just a real life example of what happened that night on The Bachelor and why I get so passionate about it because people just like to talk. And it's like, it's almost like when something is popular, everyone wants just to jump on board with whatever's cool or cool to hate or cool to like and just don't actually think for themselves. That's my rant. Now I think it's going to be kind of funny to watch this and our opinions after we know who wins. It's okay. Cassie's going home next week anyways. No way. She's got crazy dad. Yeah. No, I think, uh, nope. I think, um, I don't know. Well, I need to watch it, but no, no. Cassie's top two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her dad's cuckoo pants. Yeah, but so is what's-her-faces. Yeah, Tasha's dad's yeah. cuckoo pants, too. Yep. I think Tasha's going home next week. Yep. We'll see. We'll laugh at ourselves. And it'll actually be a full week this time. Ugh. Watching shows on the day that they air... I just want it to be next week, so I can know. What? It's going to be a full week this time, because it's Monday. Yeah, instead of? Like, us watching it on, like, a Thursday. Oh. I don't know that we've watched on a Thursday, like, ever. I didn't know this was complicated. Huh? I didn't know that statement was complicated. Well, yeah, because we normally watch it Monday. No, we or don't. Or Tuesday. We usually watch it, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, but that's fine. guys it's so hot i'm dying and then we have the dogs and they're both little hot boxes <sighs> we don't have a ceiling fan i guess i could probably make it cooler in the house but it doesn't really ever help our or our room for some reason hashtag second floor yeah yeah but like i feel like anytime we've been on the first floor it doesn't help either. Hmm. Anyway. See you tomorrow. Wow, that was really abrupt. You're falling asleep over there. Yeah, no, I'm real tired. I said bye. Okay, bye. Hey, Oso. What are you doing? I feel like you're making bad life choices. What if we turn the water on right now? You would be trapped. You did not confidently walk across that little ledge there. It's not a ton of space. He doesn't care. Hey, Hannah, thanks for coming to the show! Yes, come on, let's play! What did he say?